Today, we're going to be discussing direct creator uploads. As always, check out the cloudflare.com slash stream documentation to get all the up-to-date information about Cloudflare Stream. Imagine you open your internet browser and you want to upload a large file like this one. It's possible to run into several problems trying to upload a file like this. The first being that it's extremely large and some computers may not be able to load this entire file in memory. Additionally, your internet speed may be unreliable and you may be in a situation where you get 99% of the way through uploading this file and your internet fails and so does the upload. You also might come in a situation where your computer just freezes. Let's now understand how something like the TUS protocol can help us in a case like this with Cloudflare Stream. Let's imagine our file is split up into several chunks like what you see here. We want to figure out how many chunks and how large to make them. So we can convert our 5.6 gigabyte file into megabytes by multiplying it by 1024. From here, we want to say for optimal uploads, we want to have 10 megabyte chunks. So what we can do is take this 5734 megabyte number and divide it by 10. Once we take this equation, we can see that we would have approximately 574 10 megabyte chunks representing this file. With this background, we can now begin uploading our file like we were doing initially, knowing that we're using the TUS protocol. Let's go ahead and drag this file to the website and wait for the upload to begin. Now, this may look like a standard upload, but let's understand TUS chunking in the background in slightly more detail. It's important to note that we are uploading this file in chunks like you see here. However, we can run into an unfortunate situation where we have an unreliable connection and have an internet outage. TUS saves the day in situations like this because we are not uploading the entire file, but we are uploading small segments. If you recall from previously, we split our file into 10 megabyte chunks and we have already uploaded four chunks thus far. Knowing these two pieces of information, we know that we can begin uploading at the 50th megabyte of the file and skip a bunch of unnecessary re-uploading within the process. In this video, we are going to be implementing this demo exactly. The source code will be available in the description of the video. I'm going to use this video as an example. We simply choose our file like the animation select the video that we are interested in, and if it's large enough, it will upload the file in chunks, and if it's small enough, it will upload the entire file. If we go to the Cloudflare stream dash, we will see the video is almost instantaneously available for us to use and share on the internet. To give enough background context on what we are building, let's go ahead and give an architectural overview of the application. In this application, we are going to be leveraging Cloudflare Workers as our compute. Cloudflare Workers is a serverless edge compute platform that makes it really easy to deploy lightweight backend applications without needing to manage the server yourself. Additionally, we will be using Cloudflare Stream as our video management software. Once the user uploads their video, the browser will invoke a core's pre-flight request to make sure that it can actually communicate to the worker. Assuming we get a 200 back from the worker, the original request will be invoked by the browser to upload the video. The worker will then send that request off to Cloudflare Stream to get us the TUS one-time upload link that we send back to the client to upload the video chunks. It's important to note that this URL is returned in the location header, which the client parses out as it gets the response back from the worker. It's from here that the client will begin uploading each chunk and getting a response from the server in a continuous loop until each chunk of the file has successfully been uploaded. Before we get started, it's worth mentioning that I have pre-created my workers template using this pre-made template here. I'm using the official Cloudflare tool known as Wrangler, which you can install using your favorite package manager. The first thing that we wanna do is add these cores headers. Now, if we remember back to the architecture, the first thing the browser does is it invokes a cores preflight request. If we don't allow the origin that's making this request, then it's probably likely that we'll run into a cores error. Now to keep things simple, we are going to be allowing everything 
for headers, methods, and origin. However, if you wanted to add more strict course policies, you would want to modify them accordingly. The next thing is we want to declare a global variable that we can have our environment variables injected in. Now I'm using the Cloudflare worker secret store to inject my environment variables into the worker runtime. Now the function signature is going to be called handle tus upload and it simply takes in the incoming request from the client and returns a promise of type response. To handle that initial preflight cores request, we simply listen for the request method, and if it's an options request, then we can just simply return OK with the course headers that we allow. Now, typically a browser will instantaneously initiate another request for the actual upload. I wanna create a fetch request to the Cloudflare stream API with a direct user true parameter. This will create a one-time upload URL that will be passed to the TUS client to begin uploading chunks of our video file. Note that I'm interpolating the account ID here, which will be available in the worker runtime. The request method is going to be a simple post, and I can add headers that look like the following. Note that we pass in the bearer token, and the upload length is automatically passed from the client, which is the byte size of our file, and any additional metadata like the file name will also be pulled from the request header. Once we get a result back from Cloudflare Stream, they reply with an interesting header known as location. This is the header that the client pulls off to begin uploading chunks of the video file to Cloudflare directly. It's important to add not only the course headers, but also a location header that includes the destination that Cloudflare replied with. Now we're done. This is all that is required to create a one-time upload link and begin handling segmented uploads. One final thing that's important is you want to go back to the index file and make sure that you've replaced the function import at the top here because this is the function we are going to be calling. If you want to verify that your code compiles and runs correctly, you can type in Wrangler dev. I've created a basic index.html page that's currently empty and two empty directories, scripts and styles to add styling to our UI. Let's go ahead and create a script called tusupload.js and also create a basic CSS file and we will call this cf.css, easy. The first thing we want to do is specify the doc type and the standard structure and we want to add the appropriate head tags. These first few tags don't matter as much, but the next ones are going to be the scripts. This script here is going to be a minified copy of the TUS.js client code. This is a highly reputable and useful tool to process TUS client uploads on the browser or client side without needing to deal with all of the low level implementation details. The next script is going to be the local script that we just created, which we will add our logic. Additionally, we are going to be including an extremely lightweight CSS library to make our styling look good without having to write any CSS. And I'm going to optionally add some styles for the custom progress bar that we will be adding. Inside the body, I'm going to create a basic container div and add our form group. This will be things like the file upload button, the submit link, and the currently hidden progress bar. At the bottom, I'm going to add some extremely basic vanilla JavaScript to kick off the TUS upload to our Cloudflare worker. The first thing I wanna do is target the upload button. When this button is clicked, I wanna prevent any default behavior from submitting the form and call my own functions. I will grab the file selected by the user and we will immediately begin processing with our start upload function that we will code in just a minute. The first thing that we are going to add is a basic function called get expiry date. You are required to specify an expiry date within six hours of the link creation. This is some basic JavaScript logic that creates a five hour expiry time from the current time. Our start upload function, as we saw previously, takes in three parameters. 
the options that we pass to the Tusk client will take in the endpoint, which is our delivery uh, worker, as well as the chunk size. This is something that you can specify in the animation we specified 10 megabytes. In this case, it will be five. Additionally, we will pass in metadata. You can look at the docs to understand what is required, but in our case, we are going to pass in the minimum set, which is the expiry date, the max duration seconds, and optionally, what I want my video file to be named, which is just the original file name. Now, there are several event listeners as this executes asynchronously. The first is you can listen for errors. You can also listen for when the upload is fully complete, and you can also listen for when each chunk has successfully been processed by the server. In our case, we're going to focus on the on progress. This will allow us to dynamically update the progress bar. All we're doing here is getting elements which are custom uh, HTML elements and modifying some of the CSS, which we will code in just a second. All we have here is a couple divs and we're modifying the width of the interdiv, which represents the progress that we have uh, processed thus far. The final step is to actually pass in the uh, upload. And all we need to do there is we say, let TUS upload equal, and this will be a new TUS upload. It'll take in the file and the options that we've defined above. To kick this off, we just type in tus upload.start and the upload process will begin. We can optionally add our CSS. This adds a little spice to our demo to uh, make sure that our progress bar works as expected. The first thing is the progress bar container. Now this will just house the styles, uh, which the progress bar will live within. Uh, the fill represents the actual animated fill that will begin moving across the screen as we process more chunks. And finally, uh, upload, which will be the width of the button that we have on the home page. Let's go ahead and check out our file. It looks pretty good. Now we can choose files and our demo is complete. 